Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. We will get into this reading shortly, but for this moment we are taking a pause to call upon all angels, guardians, ancestors, and the universe to protect this channel and all who join this community. Any negative energy that may try to enter this space, we ask that you send it back to them. Amen, and so it is. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through may resonate with everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's get into this reading and see what we need to know. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? I feel our connection all the time and wonder if you feel it too. Do you feel this connection to your person, guys, even though you are in separation, having no contact with them at the moment? Because this connection with your person is still alive. Just because they've pressed the pause button on the DVR of this relationship in 3D, the energy movement between the two of you is still flowing. Your person is acknowledging here that they feel this connection all the time. It never leaves them. It never goes away. They can feel your presence at times like you are right there next to them. And for you guys watching the reading as well, you can probably feel that too. Like you're sitting there focused on something and you feel something brush by you, behind you as you're sitting there. And it feels like the energy of your person. That is because this connection is still flowing. The energy between the two of you is constantly going back and forth. And yes, you may only be experiencing it in 5D at the moment because your person isn't present in your life, but soon it will start to manifest in the 3D as well as your person returns. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? I know I have to make a move. Yes. Your person knows the ball is in their court. They know that they're the one who has to get things rolling here. They know it is up to them. And this is about action, not just thinking. They know that they have to move here, that they need to initiate communication, that they need to ask you if you will forgive them and if you're willing to spend time with them. But your person knows that they are the one who has to break the silence that's between you. They are the one who has to do it. And because they feel this connection all the time, and that connection is pulling them back towards you, because your souls are trying to come into union, this tells us your person will be making that move. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What is the collective? need to know. I was stuck in a rut and you came along and shook things up. And yes, that is the reason you have been in this person's life, to wake them up and shake them up to the divine that is within them. You have been a powerful catalyst for this person in their life and encouraging them to change and evolve and grow in ways that they wouldn't have done that unless you were present in their lives and they weren't ready for these changes when the two of you were spending time together before but during this time of separation they are doing it they are getting it done making things happen and this is why they say here i know i have to make a move and i feel our connection all the time because you have this deep soul connection to this person you through the love of who you are and the power of this connection, you have encouraged them to change and to grow and to shake their life up in ways that would never have happened for them had you not been this powerful catalyst in their life. And they were stuck in a rut, holding on to old stuff, old baggage that they had always carried with them, allowing them to perhaps even stay in a bit of a victim mentality place, which is well, that could very well be the reason why things got so 
chaotic between the two of you because they had to deal with that stuff. No one else could have been this catalyst for this person. No one other than you. And that is part of the reason why you are in each other's lives to be that catalyst for each other. And this person has also served as a catalyst for you because you have also changed and grown during the time that you've been in separation. So both of you met and shook things up for each other so that you could both deal with and address your things that have needed healing for perhaps many lifetimes. And that is what is happening now during this time of separation. But this connection with your person is still on fire. And they are on fire for you, even though you're not having any communication with them at the moment in the 3D world where we live. What else does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? I'm experiencing a dark night of the soul. Well, your person may be going through a dark night of the soul, and that is not a very fun experience. And for many of you, you probably went through a dark night of the soul as well, especially if your person ran from you, ghosted you, denied the connection, abandoned this relationship with you without saying anything, leaving you standing there wondering what on earth is happening here? What the hell happened? And perhaps you took all of that personally by bringing it onto yourself, thinking that perhaps you said something that offended them or did something they didn't like, but no. This dark night of the soul is also part of this process. For them, it's been a process for you as well. It's part of the journey. It's part of this journey of this deep soul connection that is here between you and your person. And they have to go through this. They have to address it because going through this dark night, they're going through this tunnel of darkness and coming back to the light of who they are, that divine spark that is within them that perhaps they've forgotten for many, many years or even decades of this time they've been on the planet. But they are working through this stuff and this dark night will lead them back to you because they are coming back to the light which is themselves, but also you. And the light of your love together will get rid of the last remnants of this dark night of the soul that you've both been through during the time that you have been away from each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? I have deep regret and owe you an apology. Well, yes, and that could very well be a manifestation of this dark night. This dark night of the soul experience for your person is causing them to look within them, and they are having to address that shadow side of themselves, those behaviors, those low vibration energies and actions and words that they have said to you that have been very hurtful to you. They're having to work through that. They're having to relive that. And they're having to find a release for that, for the things that they said and did, knowing that it is their responsibility, knowing that they have to be accountable for that. And they do feel this regret and this remorse for the things they said that were hurtful, for their actions, for everything that they did to create so much chaos drama, confusion, and damage in this connection. They want to apologize. They know they have to make a move, and this apology will be their very first move towards you. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person? Everything changed when I met you, and there's no turning back. Exactly, because you have been catalysts for each other. You have been this catalyst for change in each other's lives. And that again is part of this journey with this person. You have, when you first met, your person knew that something significant was happening in their life and they felt this connection in that instant moment when you cross paths. 
Their soul recognized yours across time and space, knowing that the two of you belong together in some sort of significant, destined way. That is what your person felt, and you probably felt it as well, knowing in that moment that you are the one for each other. But your person knew that they were going to have to grow up and make changes and evolve here, which is what's happening for them if they are going through a dark night of the soul. They've got to come back to the light, to the light of your love, to the light of the universe, and to the power of who they are by being authentic with themselves, but also with you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? I'm anxious to explore what destiny has in store for us. And yes, there is a destiny here with your person. And you have been fulfilling this destiny with them lifetime after lifetime because you always find each other. Every single lifetime, the two of you manage to find each other. You recognize one another's souls from the place of that divine spark that is within you. This is how you know, always know, that you belong together, lifetime after lifetime. No matter how long it's been between those lifetimes, you always find each other. And you do have a destiny with this person to fulfill in this lifetime. And because you are in separation right now, you still have this destiny to fulfill. It is not over between you and this person. There's more to come. There's more to your story because you have unfinished business with each other. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I believe we are twin flames or soulmates because of our connection, please only take that as it resonates for you. Um, whether you are soulmates or twin flames, that's what I mean by that. But the point here is, again, your person knows you have a connection. They know that there is something spiritual, magical, significant in this relationship. They know the two of you have a destiny to fulfill with one another. When you came into their life, they knew that everything was going to be different from then on. And it most certainly has been. Has it been different for you? Yes, it has. We'll use some tarot cards now and see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective want to reveal about this person and this connection? What do we need to know? What does the universe want to tell us today? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups energy is someone who can talk about how they feel because they wear their emotions on their sleeve. This energy, the Knight of Cups energy, is also someone who will make a move who will initiate communication and reach out to you. The Knight of Cups is a water sign. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, this can be a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you don't have to be a water sign for this reading to work or resonate. This is more the energy of your person right now feeling this regret and recognizing they owe you an apology, knowing they need to be more expressive of their love for you. The Knight of Cups energy is someone who can tell you how they feel. They talk about their feelings. They tell you how much they love you. And then they back that up with their actions because the Knight of Cups energy is someone who loves to do sweet, romantic things for you. Just sweet tokens of their love and their affection coming towards you. Perhaps it's like sending you messages of love throughout the day, leaving a card in your lunchbox, just using that as an example, guys, or your purse or your briefcase or whatever, leaving a card of love for you as well that delivers a beautiful message of love that you will find later in the day while you're at work or while you're going about your daily activities. This Knight of Cups energy is someone who is very loving and very expressive. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today. What do we need to know about this person and this connection? This is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is all about balance and restoring balance in this relationship. And that is the energy that your person will present. 
Two of Pentacles is about equal give and take, where you are both giving to each other and your person acknowledging that they have not done that in the past, but they will definitely make that effort to do so moving forward. The Two of Pentacles is also a card of change, and it tells us that there is a turnaround in the situation between you and your person coming up, a turnaround from where it currently is. So by that, we mean that if you and your person are currently in separation and no contact from one another, that is going to turn around and it's going to change because this Knight of Cups is someone who is going to start talking. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the universe want to tell us about this person and this connection? This is death. Death is a card of transformation. And this is what your person means here when they say, you came along and shook things up. And that is definitely the energy of this death card. It is about things changing, change, change side by side two of pentacles and death death is ruled by scorpio we talked about that with the knight of cups but death is also ruled by pluto which is the planet of death and rebirth and rebirth here being the key word your person being reborn by fire the fire of the universe, the fire of spirit, like that bird that rises from the ashes, the phoenix. This is what your person is going through right now. And definitely with this, I'm experiencing a dark night of the soul. This card is about transformation. It is about your person coming through this darkness that they have been going through and coming back into the light of the power of who they are but also being ready to embrace the light of your love as well. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we all need to know? The Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about stability because the Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Taurus, again, a place of validation. The Hierophant is also about this building stability back into this relationship. That's part of the changes that are going to be here in this connection with your person as you have your fresh start with one another. But the Hierophant also tells us your person sees and envisions a traditional relationship with you. What that tradition looks like for you as an individual may be different. So it could be things like becoming exclusive, moving in together, having a domestic partnership, getting engaged and then getting married, or just immediately going to the county clerk's office or to the justice of the peace and getting married. This is about tradition. But the Hierophant is also the teacher or the counselor. So this tells us that your person is, yes, absolutely working through these things, coming through this dark night of the soul so that they can come back into this light of this connection with you, a transformed person who is more confident, more loving, more giving than they've ever been. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? The Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning, but it's also about this representing this death card very much as well, which is about the spiritual awakening that has been happening for your person. When we think of a dark night of the soul, which is a very difficult thing to go through because it's, it's, it, well, it's dark. It's depressing. We feel that we can't move forward. We feel that we have no way out. The only way to go through it is to go through it. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. All you can do is experience it minute by minute, day by day, coming out of that dark night and into this spiritual growth here that comes with the Ace of Wands and death. The spiritual growth is the end game of a dark night of the soul because when we are in that melancholy, depressed, deep, dark space of our subconscious minds, all we can do is pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and bring ourselves back 
into the light. And this Ace of Wands is very much about a lot of this growth your person is going through. Everything changed when I met you. Yes, they are having to awaken to the power of who they are, to the power of their soul, the power of their authenticity. And this is what is happening for your person. But as well, this Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning with your person and them wanting to start over with you. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know about this person? What does the universe want to reveal, please? This says trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Well, time is all relative, right? I mean, in the universe, everything is happening in this moment. There is no linear time. It's only for us that are down here on earth that we have to experience things in that linear time. And in that linear time space is where we can get impatient and frustrated because we want things to change and we want things to happen and we want our person to reach out and communicate with us and make that first move. But what this is really saying here is trust the timing and trust in that divine timing of the universe. When we are in a spiritual counterpart connection, we have to trust in that divine timing because transformation and change takes time. So let's see what else we need to know. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? Trust your own understanding. This card comes with number 32, if anyone resonates with number 32. But 3 plus 2 also equals 5, which is about change is happening. It is coming. Change to your person, change to this situation as well. This is about trust and faith. The Hierophant is also a card of faith, and it tells us to have faith in what is happening. Have faith that your person can get it together and go through this transformation and change that is happening for them during this separation. You have gone through that transformation. Why shouldn't they? Yes, they may be stubborn because this Hierophant can also represent someone who is stubborn because it's ruled by Taurus and they may have resisted these changes while you were together. But during this separation, especially for those of you whose person is going through a dark night of the soul, they have no option but to change. That is part of this journey. The universe is encouraging them, banging on their door saying, hey, you've got to evolve. This has to happen. So trust and have faith that your person can do what they need to do. But also this card, I do want to mention this is telling us for you guys to trust in what you feel inside. Trust your own understanding, what you feel, what you know within you. Have faith in your own inner knowing, in your own inner guidance. So let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to know about this person and this connection? What does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know about this person? Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So this I do feel is a little bit prophetic here. And that also comes, well, this is number 23. Interesting, 32, 23. This is about your person taking a chance on love, taking a chance on this connection to create this fresh start with you where you're both in a more healed, evolved place than where you've ever been before because during the separation, you have both changed. You've transformed. A lot of this reading is change, 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 transformation, gaining greater spiritual awareness, gaining greater spiritual growth. And that is very much what is happening here in this connection for your person. And you have been this profound catalyst 
for them. You came along. You shook them up. They were not expecting to meet you at all. That chance encounter, that destined moment when the two of you first crossed paths, that was the universe at work saying, hey, it's time for the two of you to meet so you can start moving and grooving towards your growth, but also towards your destiny, your shared destiny that you have with each other. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal about this person? Revelations. Yes, they have had many revelations. They've had a wake-up call. They have had an epiphany because, my goodness, do they see the light now. They, have, they are coming through that tunnel, through that dark night of the soul, and back into the light. They also understand that the two of you do have a deep spiritual bond. And for some of you, yes, as well, your person may be able to acknowledge that you are soulmates or twin flames, and they weren't ready for that discussion with you before. If you tried to talk to them about it, they may have shut you down. They may have poo-pooed it. They may have said that that was something that didn't exist, that it was all in your head, that it wasn't real. But during this time away from each other, they have awakened to the power of their soul. They're trusting their own understanding as well. And they could very well be able to acknowledge here that you are soulmates or twin flames because of the power of this connection, which is how this reading started. I feel our connection all the time. Do you feel it too? Well, of course you do because your souls are in constant communication with each other. Let's see what else we need to know. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? Evolving. Yes, this is part of the transformation as well. Of course, your person is evolving, and so are you. But what's interesting as well is as you come back for this fresh start here with your person, this relationship will be evolving also. Nothing ever stays the same. Your person is evolving. So are you, but so will this relationship always to a better, brighter place. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection, please? Forgiveness. Yes, this comes back to this. I have deep regret and owe you an apology and your person will apologize to you. And that apology will be very sincere. It will be very authentic because your person wants to take ownership and responsibility for the things that they did wrong, that hurt you, that damaged you, that created all of the problems in this relationship. They will show up in a big way here to apologize. What else does the universe want us to know for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? Strong feelings. Well, yes, there are strong feelings between you and your person. And again, back to this Knight of Cups, if they have not been able to tell you how they feel up to this point, that is going to be something different for you to experience because this Knight of Cups energy is someone who does express their love. They will tell you how they feel all the time every day in many, many, many ways that they have. They're going to get creative with the expressions of their love. And for most of you as well, these strong feelings that your person had for you because they felt that instant connection to you. And those strong feelings were there always from the very first moment that you met. This could also be the reason why they ran, why they bailed, why they're ghosting, and all of that other stuff that they have done here in this connection with you because they weren't ready for these strong feelings. They still had stuff that they had to release and let go of, but these strong feelings that they have for you definitely came along to shake them up. You came along and shook things up. Why, yes, you did. You created a lot of change here in this relationship for your person. 
Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? I wish we could be together forever. Well, you are together forever because you have been traveling lifetimes with each other and you are always destined to find each other in each one of these lifetimes. You always find each other. Sometimes you're ready to get moving with this connection. Sometimes you're not. You've got to work through issues and stuff. These challenges that you've decided to have with each other for each lifetime, you've got to work through those in each lifetime. But ultimately, it is about you coming into union and you will be together forever. That is part of this divine plan here between you and your person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? You light up my world. Yes, you are the light to your person. Especially right now, if they're going through that dark night of the soul, you are their light and they are fighting and battling their way back through that dark night to the light of your love. And your person has acknowledged here throughout this reading that they understand the two of you have a strong soul connection with each other and your light together, you still have a destiny to fulfill as you come into union. And that destiny is for this lifetime. You just have to get to the place where they present themselves to you as a romantic partner, apologize and say, let's give it another go and let's give this a chance. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the universe want to reveal? Do you miss me the way I miss you? Of course you do. And deep down inside, your person knows that you miss them just like they miss you because they can feel this connection and they feel your energy. And that was the very first card that came up in this reading. They can feel you and they know that you miss them. But that is what their soul is whispering to them in their head, in their mind, where they're doing all their thinking. They're wondering if you're still available. Will you give them another chance? If they present themselves to you again as a romantic partner, will you give them an opportunity for this fresh start? Will you forgive them if they apologize or when they apologize rather? Because this person wants to take a chance on love because they have these strong feelings for you. But in their head, they don't truly know if you're going to give them this opportunity. But the point here is in their heart and in their soul, they understand that you will because they have faith and they trust in their own understanding, which is the guidance of the universe that they are listening to now because your person knows you still have a destiny to fulfill with each other. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.